What's up everybody? Heading out today. It's uh, mid-April and kind of going out with no real plan. Leaving here out of JDF Marina right here by the Pathway Bridge. It's the marina I run guide trips out of but it's still a good central location in our bay so still like watching here even on days when I can kind of go wherever I want. But I think the first thing we're going to do today, we're going to run up in the bay and see if we can find us some bait. We might cast net some bait if we can find some. Um, I haven't went and checked some of my bait spots in, in a while, so I don't know what what's there and what's not. Hopefully the water's warming up enough. They've moved back in there. We're hoping. Fingers crossed. Change plans. I'm going to do a little sight fishing. See if we can catch some redfish, trout, whatever, whatever we can run across. I'm gonna be throwing a Z-Man minnows on a eighth ounce eye strike trout eye jig head. It's a two aught size hook, eighth ounce weight, um, three inch Z-Man minnows, pinfish color. So that's what we're gonna be rolling with today to start. See if that's gonna work or not. A lot of times these fish in the real clear shallow water like this can get a little bit spooked by a paddle tail sometimes. But we're gonna see if this works. Um, and of course, it never fails. As soon as I actually get up here and start looking, the sun goes away and can't see anything. Clear sky there, clear sky there. Over us, that. They're getting to be, earlier they were real thin clouds spread out. That's pretty, pretty beefy cloud. It needs to move along. Got one on. This one at me. I don't know how big he is. No, he's not big. No wonder he's willing to bite it. Come here. I want to get down. Actually, we're going to have to retie anyway. Don't fall out. Nice little redfish. Not a great big one. But, it's a nice little red. First one of the day, I had to break the ice somehow. So, oh, I'll we'll bleed a little bit. Let's get him back in the water. All right, we made a little tackle change. Now, when we caught that fish on was a clear bait. It's a cut down trout trick. Well, I don't have any more regular trout tricks. So we're gonna try one of these trout trick paddle tails. I forgot what they're officially called. Swimming trout tricks. And uh, we're gonna see if they like it. If not, we'll cut the tail off of it. It'll just be a little short, see if they like that better. I think just the mostly clear. Yep, there you go. Look at that. Another small one, but another one came after it. Let's 
So, having trouble getting one of these bitter ones to bite, that's kind of the story of fishing. The big ones are a little smarter and older and harder to fool. Seen more baits. A little bit better than the last one though, I believe. A little bit better for sure. Usually I boat flip these this size, but I'm trying not to be too loud. But there's what he bit on. He's bleeding too. Why are y'all bleeding so much? See ya. I think we're gonna keep moving. We can always circle back. There he is. Look at all these red fish. I don't know if y'all can see them or not, but all those are redfish. That should be a testament to the power pole move right there. Look at them. I don't know if y'all can see them. Those are some good reds. And we were just running the troll motor on seven, which is just under half power. Not 10 yards from that whole school of fish. Big redfish right there, y'all. about cramped up reaching out there trying to get them and then it didn't have a second to extend it further that would have been really helpful dang that's a nice one now that is a nice slot red here in Panama City and he came chasing after Z-Man trout trick, swimming trout trick, excuse me. Eighth ounce eye strike trout eye jig head. And that's the shrimp po' boy color. I'm gonna get a good look at this guy real quick and get him back in the water. That is a fine one. Let's see how long he is. 
get out the really good jacket stick. But that is a 26 inch red on a flat bore. Two, two dots on this side, two on that side. All right, see ya. Not a redfish. I was throwing in some reds and I had a trout come up and grab it. I was really confused at first because it didn't seem like the reds bit it. It looked like they were actually spooked. It's a really nice trout actually. Holy crap. I didn't think he was that good. Not a massive trout, but it's a dang good one. Big enough to get down off the tower for. The swimming trout trick. Trick the trout. He's healthy. Got a really good weight to him. Of course. yellow mouth in there but yeah really healthy trout go ahead and get him back in the water if i was keeping fish that would be a good one to keep matter of fact how long is he 18 inch trout not a bad one at all all right there's still some up there way ahead there's some right there too thinking and I'm hoping that these fish right here in the sand are just not biting because I've thrown on them so much and pushed them from way back behind us. I'm hoping that these fish I'm seeing way up here are not from the same school at all and maybe they won't be nearly as scared of what I got. Oh my goodness. It's like as soon as I moved the boat. Where are you going to? That was the same school I've been thrown into. I haven't even got to this other fish I've been seeing yet. I almost didn't even cast. Just because I didn't think they were going to bite. I'm glad I did. down and run just for a second while I'm getting that keep that line tight for me thanks that's another go one
little bit smaller than our first one, but he's still a really nice fish. I really don't want to spook that other school, so grab this, try and do this quietly. Okay, good. Popped off. Five pounder. So we'd have 11 pounds today here in Paywall City. That's not bad at all. And yeah, I've seen some better ones. Adios. I don't know what I got. He was there and then he wasn't and then he a small trout. He's swimming towards me for a minute there. He's not that small. But he's not oh well, he's not bad. Maybe a keeper, but see ya. Pretty sure I missed one on the cast before that. Let's see if we can get another one real quick. This one was smaller, but he's staying down pretty good. Right. A little bit. Yeah. Might be exactly the same size. Yeah, pretty close. Let's see if we can get another one. <laughs> no cuts. I'm just gonna cast until I don't catch a trout. It might be this cast now that I say that. Oh. <laughs> I was getting worried. They've been biting it almost instantly. I was about to say, dang, I jinxed it, but. Not that. Still on a roll. Ooh. A little bit smaller one. This one certainly wouldn't be a keeper. All right. Let's see if I can go four for four. So I missed one at first. Oh, 
Oh my goodness. This is a little better one. Better he's got the line underneath him. Yeah, he got the line through his gill. That's why I feel so heavy. There you go. Oh, he came off. Perfect. Even better. All right. Counting that one still. So that's four or five in a row. I lost count. Let's see if we can get another one. I don't like that cast though. It may not be the move. I messed up. Nope, I didn't. I literally am losing. <laughs> Started thinking about something else when I was reeling that last one in. And I don't oh, he's got one following him. He's got a trout following him all the way in. I don't know if y'all can just turn it off. That's a little better one. Slime off my hands real quick. I'll throw back out there. A big old stingray down there. Mine seems alright, even though. It's a trout, 15 pound leader. If they get it deep, they get in his teeth, and it kind of concerns me a little bit. Completely lost count. And it's fun because most of these trout aren't that small. This one's a little smaller. But there was one, this one and one other one was kind of small, but other than that. Perfect dive. Same bait, not cutting the clip or clipping the videos and trying to leave it continuous, but. I think it's like 20 something minutes, so self cut on the GoPro. So, oh, I missed him. No, hey, my bait's messed up. Can I still get him to bite it? I did, I had one come up at it. No. I wanted the streak to continue, but I missed him and now my bait's went. <gasps> no way! No way! Oh, it's a pinfish! It's a big pinfish. It's a pretty one. Honestly, this pinfish go, he's got a lot of great color. I'm gonna avoid getting poked. Eh. All right, well, I still got a fish. Wasn't a trout. No, he pulled off. Wait, he broke off. No. He pulled off and took my... I see my plastic. That was weird. He got 
kind of down deep and felt really heavy for a second. I almost wonder if another fish tried to take it from him. Pulled the hook and ripped the plastic off. Because he didn't feel that big and then he got down a little deep right there and felt really heavy. Well, let's get a new plastic. I am going to cut it now. But we'll resume once I get re-rigged. I'm not going to get back up in the tower if these trout are going to keep biting like this. And they are. I swear, this is the kind of thing that doesn't happen on guide trips. This would be perfect. Trout. Hey buddy, this one doesn't have very many spots on him. Uh-oh. Try to be gentle with you. Nice trout. All right. See if we can keep the streak alive. No, that was the first cast and a lot. <laughs> I'm putting the number on the screen. That's the first cast and at least eight, maybe 10 casts that didn't either have a fish come off at the boat or get bit. Most of them, we landed them. Someone right at me. Oh no, 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 no. Those are bluefish. I mean, it's cool and all, but I really like not losing stuff I just put on. All right, I think we're gonna ease out to some deeper water. We're gonna fish our way down, work this flat, see if we can catch any more fish. <clears throat> um, then we'll probably head back in. There's sheep's head. No, he's not gonna bite it, but crazier things have happened. You know, he's counting his rays. I don't know, there's something about counting his rays. I like seeing them around. I feel like when you're finding them, just good water. Maybe not everywhere, but around here.
Oh my gosh. <laughs> I could catch, I have no idea how many trout if I really wanted to. It's a pretty good one. Oh my gosh. A little better than I realized. Oh my gosh. It's a nice trout right there. Like that one earlier, 18 inches. Another healthy trout. well the audio is going to come through with this wind and I'm really hoping the GoPro audio wasn't too bad today because it ended up being a really good day for fishing. Caught a bunch of redfish, caught the heck out of some trout toward the end. Um, all on the same bait pretty much and we'll kind of go over that when we get back to the truck but we're gonna head back to the ramp. I got a lot of rods to put up because I was planning on doing something entirely different today and I'm glad we ended up doing this because it uh, ended up being pretty good. So, fingers crossed, fingers crossed, GoPro audio. This got the fancy microphone on it. I don't know if that works in 20 mile an hour winds or not. We're gonna find out. But, I'm gonna pack it up, head back to the ramp. I'll see y'all there. What's up guys, back on the trailer, back at the marina. Um, before we close out today's video, I wanted to show y'all what I was using to catch the fish today. Tried out a few different things and some didn't work and, and one in particular worked really well. Um, and what did it today was the Z-Man Swimming Trout Trick. This is the Shrimp Po' Boy color. And that's on a Ice Strike 1 8 ounce Trout Eye Jig Head. The original Trout Eye, uh, it's a 2 aught hook. It's great jig head. Um, like I said, this is the swimming trout trick, the shrimp po' boy color. We got about three, just over three feet of 15 pound fluorocarbon leader tied with a, I don't even know if we're going to be able to see it because this line's so thin, tied with a uni to uni knot to 10 pound Power Pro Super Slick. And it's the blue color, not that that really matters, but the reel is a Daiwa Ballistic 2500, this is the old ones. Had this guy forever, still rocking and rolling. That's why it's probably sounding a little squeaky at times today. If you could even hear it with the wind, hopefully you can. Um, but still rocking and rolling, caught no telling them any fish on these reels. Customers, tournaments, they've been through it. A lot of these have actually gone in the water, in the salt water, and just quick spray with the hose, and they're still rocking and rolling. And all I gotta do is throw a little cleanse oil on there, and all that squeaking will stop. I can pretty much guarantee it. But the rod is a Bulls Bay Stealth Sniper 7.6 medium, 7.6 medium fast. Um, no affiliation with these guys at all, but they make some really nice rods. I actually won this rod um, as part of the prize for winning a Redfish tournament last year, winning first place um, at a tournament here in Panama City. And first place team got some a couple rods, a couple of the Florida reels, and um, some fluorocarbon leader, which is actually this fluorocarbon leader. So, definitely, I mean, I didn't pay for the rod, but I didn't get it, you know, sent to me by them. Um, like I said, I would have probably never used it if I wasn't given it for in the tournament, but now I've actually got a few of these. I really like them. They're really good rods, and like I said, completely unbiased. They don't give me anything. I don't even get a discount. So, just a really good rod, and I don't think they're, they're too expensive either, so. That was the rod today, um, the whole setup, like I said. But the main ticket was the Z-Man Swimming Trout Trick, the Po' Boy color. Like I said, that that's what did it. Redfish Trout, this bait right here, caught a lot of fish. Um, and still still looks great, ready to be used tomorrow. So, 
But if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed. Um, you know, all that, all that good stuff. About to film a walk around the boat video. So the boat. I'm sure you saw a little bit of it in this video, but she ain't the same as it was the last time you saw it. So be looking out for that as well. I may put that out before this video. We'll see. Depends on how bad the audio was today. But anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.